Hey folks, Liz here with Hopelessly Crafting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something that I like to call Lissa's Top 10 Favorites. Today we're going to go through my top 10 must-haves when planning or doing my scrapbooking. This is not an all-time list, this is just my current favorites that I just can't live without. So let's get started. Number 10, Tombow Adhesive. So this little tape runner has been a lifesaver for me. It is the um, Tombow Permanent Adhesive. It's um, got a little cover here. It's refillable. It's very easy and simple to use. Um, I've used a lot of different types of tape runners and this one is the most clean. It doesn't um, kind of gum up or um, have excess uh, tape it just uses what it uses and it's efficient so this is one of my absolute top favorites number nine is going to be my happy planner stencil as you can see this one's a little bit loved um, it's clear it snaps right into my planner it's a classic size um, and it gives provides me um, check boxes it's the exact same size it has uh, three different um, sections but it's the exact same size as the vertical Happy classic vertical happy planner. So it just fits in completely perfectly. And I absolutely love it. I use it every single week on multiple spreads and I just cannot live without it. <laughs> Number eight would have to be my tweezers. So these are Sizzix brand um, and they're crafting tweezers. Can you use tweezers that you would like use on your eyebrows? Yes, I wouldn't multitask and use them for both because that would probably be um, have some sort of transfer of bacteria or something I just wouldn't mess with that but these tweezers are very important to me um when I use them for like smaller stickers I use it for like journal uh bullet points in my journaling or my planners um I use it for when I'm dating my work planner um the smaller stickers tend to be a little bit harder to maneuver and I mean not insanely hard but the tweezers help with precision and laying them down so these are so awesome. Number seven would have to be scissors. <laughs> I don't have a specific brand of scissors. I keep two different kinds with me on my desk at all times, just kind of a big, a sharp, big pair. Um, for the bigger projects, I usually use this for um, like trimming when I um, put stickers or something, off, an embellishment off the page. Then I will use this to uh, trim, uh, trim the page. And then these are kind of, um, they're not crafting scissors, but they're a little bit uh, smaller. They're a little bit sharper. They're very precise in terms of, um, if I'm trying to cut a, st a detailed sticker out or something detailed, um, this will kind of get in the crevices really easily. Whereas this one would be a little bit harder because it's bigger. So these I leave on my desk at all times. Scissors, super important. Number six, my X-Acto knife. Well, this is Excel, but it is a, um, I had, it came in a pack of three and um, it's just a super sharp blade and I use it for, mainly I use it for washi tape. Um, you can also use it for any other um, little cutouts, um, more detailed cutouts that maybe your scissors can't get to. Um, but I use the this every single week. Um, make sure you're very careful with it. I have cut myself twice now. Um, I've either stabbed myself or accidentally hit my finger um, and it is sharp. So be very, very careful when using this. Number five, post-its. So I will do another video about pre-planning, but post-its of all three to all sizes um, are super important to me. I use them all the time um, for pre-planning for the following week, for the following month. I use post-its for everything. They're all over my desk. They're all over my wall in my, in my room. Um, and they're all over my planner. So it's kind of my way of being able to plan for the future um, and still be able to have a clean slate when I want to decorate. Number four. Now you guys don't see me use these often, but these are my mild liners and they're in a really cute like telescopic case. Um, but they are highlighters. They're dual brush. So let me pull one out. They are, I'm sorry, they are dual uh, tip. So one side is your highlighter side. If you can see, I'll kind of hold it up, that chisel side. And then one side is going to be your kind of bold pen side. And I use these all the time. I color code in my planner. So each color means something different. And um, I use, I like I said, I 
will highlight the line and then write um, whatever my task is. It um, helps keep me focused. I like to see um, all the colors at the end of the week. And mild liners are my favorite because they're um, nice and colorful, but you can still see the pen through. Um, they're not too dark like some other highlighters. Number three, and this should come as no surprise to you, but it's going to be white out. Um, this is, there are all different types of white out. There are different brands. Some people like the, um, you know, the pens. Some people like the brush. I prefer the, the runner. Um, I think that I am more precise with it. I like that it doesn't necessarily have to dry. It just goes on and we're good to, good to you go. Know that you've seen me use this for um, each of my spreads when I'm trying to make my um, planner more neutral, if I'm going to be doing um, some cover up action. So white out is definitely important. I keep it with me almost at all times. <laughs> My pens. I know you've heard me say this before, but my two favorite pens are the Papermate Flare Medium, and I use this mainly with my checklist, um, or if I'm, you know, I'm making a bold line or a bold statement, I'll use this. Um, and then for my everyday use is the Papermate Ink Gel Black Pen, and uh, the I like the 0 0.5 um, point. Um, when I did the pen test, I did the 0 0.07, sorry, 0 0.7 um, point, which I also like those. I kind of switch back and forth whether I like the finer point or the medium. Um, but these are my absolute two favorite pens. I keep them on my little case um, for easy access and I use them, I mean, multiple times every day. And last but not least is going to be my planner. Obviously, I can't use all these products if I don't have a planner to use them in. So this is my current um, happy uh, classic size happy planner. Um, like I said, it's classic size. It's got the um, black quilted cover, kind of a hard, harder cover. Um, and I have the teal metal rings, which I absolutely love this color combination. My planner. Okay, so as you can see, I do use Post-its of every size <laughs> in my planner for pre-planning. Um, and that'll just hold my places for when I do actually get to decorate. I do have three runner ups and there are three things that I keep with me kind of like on my cart. So they're like at, re at arm's reach, but not necessarily carry with me all the time. And, and that's going to be number one is my wet erase marker. I, in my planner, do have, let me see if I can grab one for you. And this is another way that I pre-plan is I use the wet erase boards. And I use them as dashboards as well as um, uh, a way for me to write down any notes or things if I don't have any post-its on me or... Um, if it's something that's going to be a semi-permanent note to myself, then I'll use my wet erase marker. This one's by Expo, um, and it's a fine point, and I can just write on my page. And then as soon as I'm done with it, I can wet erase um, using like a, a wipe of some sort. Next up is going to be my Happy Planner Hole Punch. Um, I know that you've seen that sometimes I'll put washi tape in the center of my spread, um, to, and cover up those, um, punches. So then I have to repunch. or if I'm doing a fun spread, um, on like computer paper on like computer paper or something, then I'll use my hole punch. Um, my hole punch, this one is actually the classic version. I do have the big version that you can do the, uh, you can punch for the big, which is the eight and a half by 11, um, the classic or the mini. Um, so I do have that one as well. I, if you're going to buy a happy planner punch, I would recommend getting the big one because then you can punch all sizes versus just getting the classic where you can't then punch the big size. Um, Final thought on this is that there are many different disc systems. If you are using a disc system planner, um, there are many different punches that you, um, I think tool has a punch. Talia has a punch. Um, obviously happy planner has a punch. 
um, staples. I haven't used the Martha Stewart one. My favorite is still the Happy Planner. It's called a Mushroom Punch is the um, name of it. And it punches a little bit deeper. Um, so it's not so at the end of the page. I don't know if I have, if you can see here, this is like the staples one and it's not as, um, it's not as deep of a, okay. If you wanna see the difference, so like this is a staples hole punch, the mushroom punch, and then this is the happy planner. So the happy planner is just a little bit um, longer here. Here, this is easier. A little bit longer here. Um, so this one just falls out a little bit easier than um, the happy planner punch. This, These sheets, the happy planner sheets will work in a staples um, or Talia or Tool or any of those disc systems, they all will inter will work together. But if you're purchasing a punch because they are a little bit on the more expensive side, kind of in like the forty to fifty dollar range, I would get the Happy Planner punch because the um, holes are a little bit better versus um, any of the other punches that I've seen. My third and final runner up is is my Fiskars Paper Trimmer. I know that you're not surprised to see this. I don't carry this with me all the time. It is kind of big and a little bit of a nuisance, but I use it in almost every spread, well, at least every other spread. I'm trimming paper or I'm um, trimming an embellishment of some sort, and this has been the best paper trimmer that I've seen. Um, I used to have a paper trimmer that was the guillotine kind, um, and that one worked really well and it would do more pages at a time. However, it was not as accurate. And that's because when you would pull the lever down, it would kind of skew some of the pages. Whereas with this one, um, it's also more compact. But with this system, um, it's just a little bit more precise. You can do fewer pages. I usually do like up to three at a time. I think you can do more than that. I've only done up to three at a time. Um, but it is awesome. And it has this so you can extend. Um, and it's just, it's a phenomenal little helper of mine. So I do keep this within arm's reach of my desk, but I don't necessarily carry it with me when I'm on the go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I have linked all of the products in this video in the description box. They are not affiliate links. They are simply just so that if you liked anything that you saw today, or if you wanted to try anything, you could go ahead and try any of these products, then you can go ahead and find them easily. If you've not already, Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and also hit the bell icon so that you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. I do attempt to upload videos every Monday and Thursday. I know it's been a little bit wonky in the month of March, um, but I do hope in April to be on a consistent schedule of Mondays and Thursdays. Your feedback is super, super important to me. So please let me know if you've tried any of these products out. What are your top 10 must-haves that you just can't live without? I'd love to try some of yours and see if maybe there's a product out there that I'm just not even aware of yet. Links for my Instagram and my Facebook will be also will also be linked in the description box. Please go check me out there. Um, I do post every single day um, and you'll see a little bit more of a variety of crafts. You'll see my crocheting, my um, hand lettering, as well as the planner and uh, bullet journals. As always, I hope you all have a marvelous Monday and I'll see you next time. Toodles.